We have to take both animals to the vet today. Oh, that's right. So all five of us are going out. Okay. Here we go. Good morning, guys. Do you guys have a quote from like a book or a movie that just like it it permanently resides in your brain? And for me, it is. I think I've talked about it here. The quote from Lion, Witch, in the Wardrobe, when Aslan says, when he, or no, who says it? Mr. Beaver says of Aslan, when he shakes his mane, it will be spring again. And we just looked out the window. I got back from a walk with Eli and Ollie and wait till this focuses on the tree out front. There are signs, you see those little bud, red buds? Signs of spring, even on this cold February morning. Beautiful reminder that hope is coming. <laughs> you certainly are not laughing at me, are you? No, 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 never, 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 never. Okay, there's this video. <laughs> we were in Florida last week, and we one night we were at Disney Springs, and there was this concert. <laughs> <laughs> and I took a video, and Mary and Elijah were, like, up at the front dancing, and I took a video of them, and... They told everybody come to the front, and all this. And I think, uh, this one moment, <laughs> the singer was, like, paying attention to Elijah and talking to him, and so Mary wasn't paying much attention to her dancing. <laughs> and, and, like, yesterday, I put this video of her... <laughs> Video of her to the audio of all the pretty girls walk like this. <laughs> but it was so sweet. The singer like came and talked to Elijah. It was so cute. Does this have all the pretty girls? Oh, let's like, no. let's get it. Yeah, let's get it. Oh man, we laughed so oh, hard the other night when he was making that. Oh, I wasn't gonna post it. I was yeah, because be he funny. didn't want to embarrass me. Oh, that's really embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. How are those lungs doing? Oh, that was so funny. Pretty girls walk like this, and you're just like basically waddling back and forth. <laughs> oh man, it was uh, funny. It was funny. We got a good laugh. We've out of talked it. about when Elijah is a couple years old, putting him in like a hip hop class. Mm -hmm. Perhaps we should consider volunteering there and <laughs> trying to pick some volunteering. We just need to like <laughs> take the class, take some notes, and like. <clears throat> um, but my answer to your question is my lungs are doing so much better than they were. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Before we went on our trip, like maybe a week before we went on our trip, I got a cold and it was super mild, like barely a tickle in my throat mm -hmm. for a week or so or five days or something. Then all of a sudden I wake up one morning and it was like, like rattling mucus all the way in my lungs. Anyway, the cold part was gone, but the CF lung part was alive and well. So I was at CF clinic the day before we left and I was saying to my doctor, like <sighs> traveling with a CF cough that sounds like this pandemic style, like Post-pandemic. Post-pandemic. Yeah. yeah. Is not ideal. And she was like, you know what? You need just like a sign or something that says like, mind your business. I'm fine. Leave me alone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was like, yes. Yeah. So, um, I, it, I, it, it went. It was fine. Yeah. I tried to hold the coffin as much as I could because people don't know. They, if you hear that kind of cough, you're like, that person should be in the hospital. <laughs> um, <laughs> thankfully, that's not true. I'm yeah. still doing well. 
So like a day into the trip? Was that what it was? Or did you... Is the oh, first, yes. The I day, waited. A day into the trip. Basically, her doctor said, said, let's have you get antibiotic, an antibiotic, like yeah. an oral antibiotic from the pharmacy. Take it on your trip. If you feel like it's getting worse or like not getting better, go ahead and start it. Yeah. So... So, uh, we left on Friday and I decided not to start it just in case I got blazing diarrhea. I did not want to have blazing diarrhea on the airplane, if at all possible. I'm sure I've done it before and I'm sure I'll do it again, but this time I opted not to. So I waited and Saturday morning I started the antibiotic. It was just like... I thought, let me give it so, a, a few days. Mm -hmm. Monday morning, I woke up with the CF coughing situation. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, all really impressive coughing. And then I was like, yeah, let's not wait anymore. And plus, your face, like when I was coughing, yeah, you were like, this is not good. Yeah. So I was just like, you know what? My and doctor's face when I coughed, she was like, this is not good. And I mean, even though my lung function was exactly the same as last time, which was such a comfort to me, to us. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, I started the antibiotic. It, it started working quickly, maybe three or four days. Mm -hmm. And I was starting to notice less coughing and less like junky like you guys just heard me cough like i'm still coughing some but it's not like it's not like i can feel it all the way yeah, down in my yeah. lungs and yeah. so it's a ton better and i'm celebrating majorly i like your description it's not <laughs> <laughs> but i know what you mean it's like this like deep it like deep mucusy cough yeah, yeah. So, anyway anyway i'm doing a ton better she's still on the antibiotic how many more days like <coughs> five more days or something probably and then yeah we'll just see i think it'll continue to get better even yeah. after she finishes the antibiotics but the yes. only bummer was we were oh. in florida we went to the beach and we were outside, you know, we had a perfectly, like, because sometimes this time of year you go to Florida and, like, not, we weren't in South Florida. So, like, it can be cold. I just remembered that video. What video? My dancing. All the videos. <laughs> waddle like okay, this. Sorry. Um, it's not you know, always nice. In yeah, Florida. but we had, like, perfectly nice. Well, the warm. first couple days it was cold and rainy. That's true. But then after that, the last four days were warm and we got to go in the pool. We got to go to the beach. It was magically warm. So the, uh, what I was going to say was the bummer is whenever she's on antibiotics, this was certain mm -hmm. antibiotics mm -hmm. can have like a sun reaction. It's and... different than like a sunburn. I've found in the past, like mm -hmm. uh, I remember some summers being on oral antibiotics and lathering on like so much sunscreen mm -hmm. and yet still getting this weird burn situation. And I'm like, I put sunscreen on. But the thing is, yeah, the way, I don't know what the antibiotic does to your body, but it's, I, it's not a sunburn. It's like a chemical reaction. burn or yeah like a chemical like reaction it, it on says on the bottle of antibiotics like avoid direct sunlight and so and it's kind, like, kind of a bummer when you're in florida, in florida. <laughs> but mary did a good job of like wearing she wore my sun shirt for a couple days yeah and, and i just was. basically stay out of the sun or i'm only in the sun for a few minutes that's the best way i've learned over the years, over the many, many summers I've been on antibiotics, is like, enjoy the sun for a couple of minutes. Mm -hmm. Or get an umbrella. That's, mm -hmm. that's my best way of working around it. And the hotel did have a, an umbrella that we could borrow. Mm -hmm. So I did have an umbrella for some of it, but mostly I just enjoyed the sun for a couple of minutes, then get out of the sun. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was kind of a bummer, but it was still super fun, super enjoyable, and 
all the pretty girls walk <laughs> like this. <laughs> oh man, fun times. Fun times. Um, yeah, so today is going to be swim and I've been like getting getting stuff done like renewing car registration and filling out a census yeah. and all the things. Yeah. Oh, we have to take both animals to the vet today. Oh, that's right. So all five of us are going out. This should be exciting. And um, I just remembered I need to not let Harry eat or else he's going to throw up. Ooh, yeah, that's a good idea. I need to go pick up his food. All right, peace. Okay, here's what it looks like I when the five of us. Smart or stupid. <laughs> A cat in the backpack, baby in the front pack, and a dog on the front of the pack. Okay. Front of the pack. Here we go. Here we go. We're doing it. Doing all <laughs> Welcome to our circus. We've never had appointments for both of them on the same day, so this is their first time. Being oh, at the vet in. together. It's what so are you thinking of in here? You got a pal. Um, when we walked in here, I was like, I'm pretty sure this is the room. Because I have a picture of Ollie standing right here from the day that he was diagnosed with the stomach flip and then ended up in emergency surgery. I think it's this room, but we're going to make new good memories in this room. You're good, buddy. Our whole family. All together. What do you think, Harry? Ollie, can you believe we brought Harry with us? We don't take Harry anywhere, do we? <laughs> Crazy cat. <laughs> what do you think, Elijah? We brought Harry. And this little toddler was only, what, 10 days old? when Ollie had his surgery. Yeah. It's crazy. All right, well, this is what we're doing. Okay, I guess I know where they want to go. <laughs> you guys are ready to head out? <laughs> oh, weird, the footage got blurry. That's annoying, whatever. But Ollie is doing well. Harry didn't have a full appointment. He just had a rabies vaccine. Which he was not happy about, but we did it. It was bad, mm. but he's okay. And he's happy now that we're home and he's happy, happy cat. Happy people, happy cat. Good. California. Uh, Ollie's doing great. We asked the doctor about, he's had maybe two or three times in the last year these like pain crisis moments where it's just it really seconds where he's like in physical pain but then nothing seems to be wrong and the doctor said it sounds like classic um pinched nerve pinched like spinal situation um and so he told us next time it happens strict bed rest basically go out to go potty and then come back don't be jumping down from couch and this sort of thing and do um like carprofen or dog dog ibuprofen type stuff do that for a week so that is really helpful for if that happens again in the future it, he said because it's so infrequent right now it's it probably hasn't happened for like six months or something that it's nothing super freak or what urgent i don't know what the word is like yeah. it's basically like He's good. He looks great as far as like his range of motion for 
what we were thinking it may be like his arthritis getting worse, but it's not necessarily. It could be possibly related, but in general, his arthritis is the same. Um, yeah, I was curious if his range of motion was worse, but he said he looks great. And it's just great because that doctor was there a year ago when Ollie, when his stomach flipped, he didn't do that big surgery, but Ollie had a second surgery, like, I don't know, two months later or something. Um, he had to get a tumor. Was it a tumor? A mass? It was not cancer, whatever it was. A mass taken off by his bum hole. But anyway, so this doctor was just like, he's so happy to see Ollie doing well because he knows the severity of what happened a year ago and um yeah i do think it was the same room so i'm glad to write some new memories in there and yeah peter ended up taking elijah and harry back out to the car because harry was so upset and they just hung out in the car together and then i stayed in the appointment with ollie and then i had peter on the phone so that he could ask any questions if i forgot to ask any but all is well, and I'm so thankful. I'm thankful we have two healthy 10-year-old animals, and that was kind of stressful. But we're home now, and all is well. Thanks for joining us. Toodles.